So today we are going to find relation between one coulomb and one stat coulomb. Let me write the formula for force between two charges in SI as well as CGS system. You can see in equation one, I have written the coulomb law for two charges in SI system and in equation two, I have written coulomb law for two charges in CGS system. Note the difference in SI system. The quantity 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught is present and in CGS system quantity 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught is not present. So let us now assume that both of the charges in SI system have charge 1 coulomb. Let Q1 is equal to 1 coulomb and Q2 is equal to 1 coulomb. We also assume that R is equal to 1 meter. So the force between charges will be in SI system from equation 1 F will be equal to 9 into 10 raised to power 9 into 1 into 1 upon 1 square which will become 9 into 10 raised to power 9 Newton and if I convert this force into dyne it will become 9 into 10 raised to power 14 dyne because we know that 1 newton is equal to 10 raised to power 5 dyne. Let us now find the force between same charges in a CGS system. So we want to find the relation between 1 coulomb and 1 stat coulomb. Suppose 1 coulomb is equal to x stat coulomb. Let us assume this. Let's, this is equation 3. Therefore we know from here that q1 is equal to 1 coulomb. Therefore, Q1 will become X stat coulomb. Similarly, Q2 will also become X stat coulomb. And uh, since uh, R is 1 meter, therefore in CGS system, R will become 100 centimeter. So if we put all these values in equation 2, then we will be able to find the force between two charges in CGS system and the answer will be now directly in dyne. Let us find this expression. This now equation number uh, 2, this I have written wrong. Let me correct it. So I have made the corrections. So equation number 3 represents force between two charges in dyne and equation 5 represents the same force between two charges again in dyne. However, this expression is obtained by using uh, Coulomb law in SI system and this expression is obtained by using Coulomb law in CGS system. Now we can equate 3 and 5. We will get x square into 10 raised to power minus 4 dyne equal to 9 into 10 raised to power 14 dyne. So with this, I will get x equal to 3 into 10 raised to power 9. So if you put this value in equation number 4, we get the final result and that would be 1 coulomb is equal to 3 into 10 raised to power 9 stat coulomb.